following on from the previous video, we, um, we, we wanted to know dH by dt at the precise moment in time when the water level is at 12 meters. And, uh, and, and what we realized was that um, we, we don't need the R here because R, R is being dictated by this H here. So we can, we can get rid of the R here. We, we don't need this R here. So, so we would rewrite R in terms of H. And, and uh, in order to do that, we, we would use Pythagoras to get rid of the R. Okay, so, so by using Pythagoras, um, R, plus, so it's blah, blah, blah. This is what we did. This is us using Pythagoras here to get rid of the R. So R squared is this. We can then put it into here. Okay, and then that gave us this. And then it's blah, blah, blah. And then we got to around this stage here where the volume is given by this. Notice that, um, that there's no R in here. R R R is being dictated is being dictated by the H. So we 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 buried we well we got rid of the R we rewrote R in terms of H and then everything's buried in here now. So we got rid of the R. Now we can use implicit differentiation. But before we do that, try and understand what's going on here. Currently we are at this stage here. Now look what's going on here. Water's being drained away by by this amount here. So this is the uh, dv by dt here. Now water is being drained away, so h here, so when we come to differentiate it with respect to time, so as time goes on, h here um, is, is, um, is dependent on time, h here is a function of time, okay, um, we don't care about the r, we got rid of the r here, this thing here is, is it will always remain as, as 20, um, so, so h, h here is the only thing that, that is, um, that, that changes over time here. So hang on. So looking at looking at this thing here, don't forget. Oh, sorry. And also v is um, is a function of time. So you can think of it as v as being a function of time. So as as water is being drained away, hang on. So as water is being drained away, h is a function of time. As as water is being drained away over a period of time, v varies with time. So v is a function of time here. So when we use, when we come to use implicit differentiation on this, bear bear this in mind here. Okay. So now let's differentiate this. Um, differentiate the v. That will give you dv by d, dt because v is a function of time. Here. Okay. We, we, remember we are we are differentiating this with respect to time. But because v is a function of time, we will need to stick dv by dt in here. Okay, so now differentiate this this whole thing here with respect to time. Okay, so so this one here goes down here, blah blah blah. But because h is a function of time, we would need to stick this dh by dt in here. So hang on, let me just rephrase something. Um, we are differentiating this whole thing here with with respect to time. But because v is a function of time and h here is a function of time, when when you when you um. When you come to differentiate this, you need to stick the dh by dt. Okay. Now differentiate this because h is a function of time. You need to stick this thing in here. So, so from here, hang on. So from here, uh, it will take us to here. And then, uh, and then, and then, uh, and then, and then, blah blah blah. Tidy up. Um, somehow get we, we remember we are trying to get the h by dt on its own so factorize the h by dt that will then give you this and uh, and remember dv by dt is negative four because we we are thinking in terms of what well, we are thinking in terms of the amount of water in the here we are thinking in terms of the volume here so as as the water is, is uh, draining away we are losing volume. We are losing volume. That's why dv by dt is negative four. We are losing volume here, and uh, uh, and then blah blah blah. And, and remember, h here at the precise moment in time, at that precise moment in time when h was twelve. Remember, the question stated at the precise moment in time when h is twelve, um, the uh, dv by dt uh, was was negative four. So we can we can put this into here. Remember, at this precise moment in time, d dv by dt is given by this here, and uh, and h here at the precise moment in time, we can put the 12 in here. We can put the 12 in here. Okay. So um, 
uh, and then that will then take us to this stage here and then blah 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 uh, dh by dt dh by dt is given by this so what that means here is we are losing height by 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 roughly four centimeters per minute okay so looking at this here um, so so our, our overall answer um, is given by negative well it's given by this thing here so what they, what this means is that at the precise moment in time when the water level is at 12 when the water is level when the water level is at 12 we the the, the rate the, the speed if you like the speed of the um, the the level of water is is well it's decreasing by by roughly 4 centimeters per minute okay